It was a stunning sight as the shuttle Discovery soared piggyback over Washington's National Mall and 10 days later the Enterprise over New York City on top of a specially modified 747. Ray Zink, a NASA contractor, has been putting shuttles on top of jumbo jets for 14 years. We caught up with him at the Intrepid Museum in Manhattan, where the Enterprise will soon find a home. When you first heard they were going to put the orbiter, the shuttle, on the yeah. back of a 747, what did you think? First off, you don't think it's possible. You just look at the sheer size and the drag, and you're like, it can't be done. Zink has supervised the coupling more than 40 times. It takes place in a massive 10-story steel structure, a 10- to 12-hour process in which the shuttle, with its fragile coating of heat-resistant tiles, is carefully placed in a sling, then slowly lifted. The 747 is moved underneath, and the shuttle is then lowered into place and secured with just three large bolts. The three attach points where the shuttle is mounted to the 747 are the exact same three attach points where it mounts to the external tank during launch. So yeah, it's not ever going to fall off. The winch is look good. This weekend, Zinc supervised the offloading of Enterprise at Kennedy Airport in New York. But there's no steel tower here, so he used two heavy lift cranes, one weighing more than a million pounds. If watching a shuttle on top of a 747 is awe-inspiring, imagine what it's like to fly it. Jeff Moultrie was the pilot over Washington and the co-pilot over New York. That was a great flight. The first thing you see, uh, you know, even from a distance is a Statue of Liberty. And to be able to go over that and, and to, to basically own New York for a period of maybe 45 minutes. But flying this contraption has its downsides. With a shuttle on board, uh, the, the handling characteristics and the drag factor are vastly changed. While the 747 is stripped bare inside to reduce weight, takeoff can be a nail-biter, with the plane carrying 704,000 pounds, very close to its 710,000-pound maximum. Both Moultrie and Zinc are still amazed it gets off the ground at all. As many times as you see it, you still stand back and go, is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? Like, there it goes. It's unbelievable. You're like, I can't believe it. He'll get to believe it again in September when the 747 carries the Endeavor to a museum in California, the last time a shuttle will ever leave Earth. Chip Reed, CBS News, New York.